good day everyone mr cargill here with our next autocad video now in this video we're going to be starting a new series we're going to be starting the uh, interpenetration of solids series and for this topic interpenetration of solids as the name suggests it's drawing different solids that are combined together or joined together all right so you might have two cylinders that are joined together or two prisms and we have to draw them and draw how they are connected and everything all right so the first one we're going to look at is a is a very simple one we have two diamond based prisms that are are combined and we're going to draw them all right so this drawing right here number one <coughs> all right so for this drawing as with most drawings we're going to be starting with the plan view and this is the plan view right here and this is the elevation so if you're looking down on the elevation this is what you will be seeing so this diamond right here represents the top of this prism right here all right and this is the side of this so this line right here is this line right here and this line in the center here is this line up here all right so we're going to start with the plan view this says 45 so this is telling me that all the sides of this diamond all the sides are 45 millimeters all right so let me open autocad and i can just select a rectangle and just click on so click on the rectangle here click on somewhere to start and the dimensions are going to be 45 comma 45 so type 45 comma 45 then i press enter and now we have a square but we need this to be a diamond so in order to get a diamond we're going to have to rotate this all right so we can just select the rotate tool right here select rotate and it says specify base point so just click on one of the corners and it says specify rotation angle we're going to rotate this by 45 degrees so type 45 and press enter all right there we go lovely so now that we have that the next thing we're going to do is to draw this this sorry right here and this distance from the center here to this point is 100 as it says right here so this is what we're going to do we are going to draw a line from here 100 so type 100 enter and then do the same thing from down here so to get the line again you just type l and press enter click here and you draw the line and then you press space bar to get rid of the line and then space bar to get the line back space bar gives you the last command so since the line was the last command i'll get back the line so i type space bar click here and type 100. now i can close this off right here and then i draw the center line right here and just like that the plan view is basically finished so you can see right here that's the plan view now the only thing left for us to do is to label the plan view all right so it's b a c and d all right so let's do that so we are going to select text make ensure you select a multi-line text select multi-line text it says specify first corner just do something like that build a little rectangle and just click in the opposite corner and then i'm going to type b since one of the sides are labeled b so i'm going to just change this color let's make it something bright like this green right here and i'm going to move this from here and then i'm going to bring it over here let me just turn off ortho all right so i'm going to bring this right here but that B is a bit small. I want to make it bigger. I want to make it about twice the size. So I'm going to click on the B and I'm going to type scale and press enter. And it says specify base point. So I'm going to click anywhere on this B and then it says specify scale factor. I want it to be twice the size. So I'm going to type 2 and press enter. There we go. That, that looks much better. So now I can copy this from here to here and to down here all right so the top part is b this is ac let me just 
the smooth this out a bit. Let me turn off objects, man. And move this out. So about here. All right, and then let's change this to C. All right, and let me just move it up slightly. So about there. And then this is D right here. All right. So just click on it. And then change that to D. Good. So now we have the plan view all uh, labeled and everything. So now we can start our elevation. And the elevation is up here. Uh, we can start the elevation probably about 20 millimeters or so above the plan view. That gives us a lot of space to work with and everything. All right, so let's do that. So in order to do this now, it says that the elevation um, is 120. The height of it is 120. All right, so let's do this. Let's bring this up from here. We're just going to bring up a series of lines. Let me turn on back objects now. We're just going to bring up a series of lines, no specific distance. Let me turn on back auto also. Just bring them up um, to a distance that you think is about greater than 120 millimeters or 140 millimeters since we're going to be starting the drawing 20 millimeters above this all right so since there's a line right here i can offset this i'm just going to click on that line and type offset and offset is for drawing parallel lines so i'm going to offset this by 20 millimeters so i'm going to type 20 and press enter all right there good so now i can click on this line and click on this blue square right here and stretch this line bring it over here nice all right good so now i forgot to bring up this line as well nice all right so now this line right here which represents the base of the elevation we are going to offset this line two more times by 60 since the height is um 120 and the midpoint is 60 so i'm going to offset this by 60 twice so I'm going to type offset and I'm going to type 60, enter, bring that up, click here and bring that up. Nice. So I can trim off everything that is above here. I don't need anything up there. So I just type TR, enter, enter. All right. So that's the trim command, TR, enter, enter. And then I just highlight these lines, click and they will be trimmed. All right, good. So now, let's see the drawing. All right, so we need the center line as well. Oh, the center line is already there, good. All right, so it says that, it says that um, from this total distance right here is 100. So now we need to get this point and this point. And in order to get these points, we are going to have to bring across these lines right here and then bring them up to get this diamond right here all right so let's do that all right so we are going to start about 20 millimeters away from this drawing so this line i'm going to offset this line by 20. right there good all right i'm going to also offset this line by 20 as well so like that nice all right so we are going to extend these lines here so let me extend this out to here space bar extend that out to here and uh, to there no this is an orthographic drawing and to get a side in orthographic drawing we are going to need to draw a 45 degree line from here all right so this is what we're going to do we're going to draw a 45 degree line all right so i'm going to draw it from i'm going to draw the 
45 degree line from this point right here so let me select a line all right and once i have selected that line i'm just going to click on i'm going to click right here on polar tracking then click the drop down arrow ensure that uh, this is 45 then from here from this point here I am going to draw a line 45 degrees and that green line will tell me that that is 45 degrees so I draw that line and once I draw that line I can now extend these lines so let me extend this to that point and then extend this to this point right here once I've done that I can now bring up lines from here so let me bring this line up like that let me turn on back ortho and let me bring this line up from here like this you want to bring it to a point that is higher than this right here all right nice so now what we are doing is we are drawing the diamond so from this so we need this center point right here so let me just do this and bring that point across like that all right so we know that our diamond is going to be the center of our diamond is going to be here and the end is going to be here so i can just click on the diamond and select the copy tool click on the side right here and bring that side to right there and just like that we have our diamond up there and that diamond up there is representing it represents that diamond up there represents this diamond right here all right so let's draw this part right here so what we're what we going to have to do is to bring this line across like that and bring this line across like that so let's do that all right so we're going to select a line and we're going to bring this line across to this point right here good and we're going to bring this line across to that point right there and then once they touch the edge of the elevation right here we just bring them to the center point here and to there now the drawing is complete but it looks confusing so i am going to make everything that would be brightened i'm going to make them a different color so i'm going to make them yellow so that you can clearly see the um so that you can clearly see the um drawing itself so let me just brighten all of these things um, with the yellow line all right so this would go here all right nice so this goes here to here to this point to that point now everything that is yellow would be solid everything that is white is a construction line all right all right nice so let's just finish this part here is this line from here to here lovely all right so there we have our interpenetration line or interpenetration drawing sorry so let me just label a few things all right so i need to label up here a b c d so let me do that so let me just copy this bring it from here let me turn off object snap bring it and turn off auto also bring it to here 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 and also there good all right so let's fix this so this is b C. 
and then this right here is D. All right, lovely. Let's see if everything is all labeled. Yeah, nice. All right, so we have the two um, diamonds. This one going into that one. All right, wonderful. All right. Um, normally, I would delete the white lines so that you can see clearly see the yellow lines. But I'm going to leave these white lines since they are construction lines. All right, and that is how you do the interpenetration for two diamond-based um, prisms that um, penetrate each other or are combined. All right. So thanks for watching.